that mommy's going to go to work soon. So I really need to find someone to take care of you. It's going to be very exciting, okay? Maybe grandma can help us. Yeah? Okay, yes. can make it today mom I was actually thinking about child care for Jacob so when I go back to work and I was wondering if you had any thoughts or recommendations like what did you do when Christine and I were little I totally understand what you're going through when you guys were little I had to think about different types of child care you mean there's more than one? Oh yeah first I thought about staying home and 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 I wish I could have but I had to work full-time then I went around and I asked the family to see if anybody was willing and able. Mm -hmm. And your grandmother did take care of you for a little bit, but it wasn't a fit for full time. Aww. Oh, come on. We don't mind getting in the water. Oh, Are you hungry? Let's see. Let's get you. You can do that, right? You hungry? Let's try and do that. Aw, I'm so glad you did show up today, <laughs> Mom. So then I began to search for what would work. And you needed something, you were active, and mm -hmm. you wanted to be around uh, children in a smaller environment. Mm -hmm. So I looked for something like a home. Your sister needed something a little bit more structured, yeah. more like a classroom setting. Did you ever um, connect with a child care resource and referral agency when you were searching and planning this process? Oh, I wish. I didn't know if that even existed back then. And if it did, I didn't know anything about it. Wow. It must have been so stressful trying to find someone who could take care of us as well as you did. Well, you know, I mean, as I said, what worked for you didn't work as well for your sister. Um, and so I made the decision to find a larger place a larger center for your sister something around the corner from your provider and, and it was a little bit harder because I had to go to two different places um, you know but I was stressed out enough leaving you mm -hmm. I really wanted to find some place where you could both be happy and, and thriving so what do you think would work for Jacob well, I think he would do so much better in an in-home environment. So, what about you? Like, taking care of him in your place? <laughs> I wish I could, but you know I still have to work full-time. I know, Mom. I figured I would ask, right? No, yeah, it never hurts to ask. Yes. <gasps> yes, I think it's time we go okay. inside. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Come on, Jacob. How's Jacob? Oh, he's good. He went down really easily. Okay, good. I think he just needs a little bit of a nap. Yeah. What are but, you doing? Oh, I was looking up this child care resource and referral website, and they actually have all of the questions you should ask when you go visit child care providers. Wow, that's incredible. I wish I would have had something like that when you were little. I mean, I went in and asked questions from, you know, using my instinct. I wish I would have had those questions. Yeah, this looks really helpful. Yeah, you should print it out and take it with you. Great idea. I'll do that now. Nice to meet you, and this must be Jacob. Yes, Hi, Jacob. Jacob. We're How very are excited. you? We're excited to have you. Want to come in? Thank you. You're welcome. You have a really great place here, and thank you so much for meeting with me. Like I told you on the phone, I have a little bit of an anxiety over leaving Jacob by himself with someone I don't know. 
I take a lot of care to create a warm and welcoming environment for the whole family. I'm glad you're here and I hope I can put your mind at ease. Yes. Well, I actually only just have a couple of questions. <laughs> Don't mind. No problem. I would be worried if you didn't. It's okay. How long have you been working as a child care provider? I know it's a very important job, but it must be really tough. I love children and have worked with them for over 10 years. I started my own business about five years ago when I realized I could run a successful business doing what I love, helping children learn and grow. That must give you a great sense of independence and satisfaction. Yes, that's one of the great things about running my own business. I had a vision, I make my own schedule, determine the curriculum, and design a space that works for me and the children in my care. It is a lot of responsibility, but ultimately, I am the boss. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Um, can you talk to me more about how it was to get started? You already had a job doing something that you love, and I just wonder what that process is sort of like. Thank you. You're welcome, no problem. Uh, I already had quite a bit of experience working directly with children, and I've taken some business classes. So when I decided to make the change, I took a few more child development courses just to make sure I was up to date on how children grow and develop and their learning styles. What hours are you open? Um, do you have a set schedule that the children follow? I'm open Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., but I also do my best to try to be flexible with the family. So sometimes I stay open late um, or I'm open on the weekends if necessary. Uh, it's important for us to have a consistent schedule when children learn, so yeah. we do use um, a daily schedule. This is what we follow. But working with children, it doesn't always go as planned, but that's the life of a caregiver. Yeah, that's right. If we do make an adjustment or any changes, we'll definitely let you know about it. It seems like you would prefer Jacob to be in a family child care setting as opposed to a center. Can you tell me why? Well, from what I've read, you have all of the benefits of a center and a home-like environment. And I feel Jacob that would do very well if he was able to get the opportunity to explore while still follow a routine. Um, I actually work nearby. Do you mind if I drop in any time or do I need to make an appointment? I understand your reasons on wanting to bring Jacob here. Those are exactly the reasons why I open my own childcare. Um, and we have an open door policy, so you can stop by anytime. So in addition to the weekly rate, what other fees do you charge for? Have all of the adults been cleared by TrustSign? Yes. They May I see a copy of your child care license? Sure. What holidays are you closed? What ages do you accept? Do you have any openings now or is there a waiting list that I have to start in on? How many caregivers work with you and are they trained in CPR and first aid? Are the children supervised at all times? Do you smoke? <laughs> just wanted to ask. <laughs> great question, great question. <laughs> um, do you have an emergency plan in place? Do you help children with toilet training? I know you know this is age, so I have to ask. Well, I think that's about it. Thank you so much for answering all of my questions. I feel so much better about leaving Jacob at a family child care home. No, we'll be back soon, no, I promise. Bye, Jacob. Bye. 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 Yeah, I just finished visiting the last provider and I think she's perfect for Jacob. He looks really comfortable and um, she's flexible with the hours. For more information regarding early education and child care, please contact your local resource and referral agency. You can find the one nearest to you at childcareaware.org. This video is generously funded by Stein Early Childhood Development Fund.